Another video power back. Welcome back to some more Stormworks. I'm Stormrunner Gaming, and today I am here with a blast from the past, a pretty old boat that I designed forever ago, back when Stormworks only had its simple mode. And actually, back then, once we got the advanced mode, this is one of the first boats I made the advanced change to it, putting all the pipes, cooling, and whatnot in there. But today, I mean, time has not been helpful to this boat here it's not been kind to it so i want to do another refresh to this vessel here giving it a lot of sprucing up here probably changing around the interior design as well because i've become a lot better at designing boats of course through stormworks that and i probably need to make a few changes as you can see um, it doesn't float as well as it used to. We have some problems with that back deck there. And it's sitting a little bit lower in the water. And we can actually fire this thing up here. And its top speed isn't what it used to be. The top speed now, I mean, I can just fire it up here. Well, we actually have to go down to the, like, what is it? At a cellar here or something. And just click these buttons. Another thing about this vessel is 90% of the buttons don't really work. I mean, it might be because they don't have power to them or something. It might be because they're not connected or something was broken in updates, which I mean is bound to happen with any early access game. But now we can throw our clutch on and get a blistering amount of speed here. Blistering amount. You might want to uh, buckle up back there, Johnny, because we're going to be hitting about three meters a second here. Just wind is going to be whipping past us. And as you can see, that party deck on the back end isn't looking too swell as we catch some speed here as well. And this is just low speed. It's getting probably a block or two of water on there. So that's definitely one of the things I want to fix. Probably making the boat a little bit lighter as well. So, yeah. I'm going to be starting this little series, probably a couple episodes in, to creating a nice new boat. So we're back at the workshop with our modern yacht here, and we're going to have to just, I guess, strip everything out of this thing right now, because there's a lot of craziness happening, and we don't really need much of any of this, so... It's probably going to take me a few minutes to clean out a lot of the stuff here. I mean, I'm going to be keeping things like the dual engines on the back end and whatnot, but a lot of the piping and this crazy amount of power production on the front end, with its own separate engine, just, it's gotta go. We don't really need it. I mean, this is back when the game, it was one of the updates where basically the electric, I guess, generators didn't produce much power at all. They produced a minuscule amount, so this was just to keep the lights on on this boat. And that was a, a good amount of power at the time. It's not great. Some large boats had, like, rooms full of generators, I remember, and different crazy things making them work. That and, I don't think I even put one generator in here, so my decreased intellect of the game, or decreased knowledge, I'll put it that way, of the game kind of hindered me from creating more power out of less weight. But yeah, I've got the rest of all this to um, scrap down here and I'll be back with that. All right, now that we have a clean slate here, everything is cleaned out of the inside, we have a pretty good opportunity to start on this project here. The nice thing about this clean slate, the hull we've got emptied out here, is that we do not have to start from square one. We've got a pretty slick, nice hull here that we can just fill up with whatever we want in here, but we have to be kind of careful because I don't want it to sink too far into the water like that previous version. Maybe putting some more weight on the front end so that back end it doesn't sink down as much. Maybe we'll put a fuel tank in the front or something. But anyways, as you can see, we don't have too much wiggle room because I don't want the water to go above this line here or that crease where the 45 degree angle goes into the flat wall there. So let's drop it back in here. And I've actually done one thing to this boat already. I've added in a little staircase here down to the bottom of the boat here where we're going to have the engine room over here. And I don't know exactly what I want to do with this area yet. We have a little bit of room over here, but the thing is you're going to be hitting your head with all of this area here because there's actually a test where you can do in-game to see if your character can or can't stand up in an area. 
So if you take a door and you put it in there, as you can see, this room right here, we can have our character easily stand up in as well as up here. But once we go down here, you can see that we have those red blocks there. We're not actually going to be able to stand over there. You're probably going to have to crouch to get back there, which we can do, but... I mean, I don't really want to do that, especially for a modern yacht, per se. So, um, right now, that's just going to be left like that. Maybe we'll put a door on that or something and leave it for some extra storage or something. We actually got to flip that door around and place it in there. Actually, do I want it like that? Let's put it there. And I want to put uh, one buffer here so we can actually put the button on this side with it. There we go. And we got to grab a double-sided button. I like that they added in the double-sided button. It's actually added in forever ago now, but it was a really cool addition to the game. So you don't need to connect together two buttons anymore. The one button can control your door pretty well, actually. And you don't have to mess around with it at all. So let's just finish up this wall here and I'm going to be turning my attention over to a little bit more of the redesign up here. So now that we've got this staircase done here I'm going to actually put like a half wall here so it's going to be like a railing around it and of course we do need a railing around those steps as well. I'm not exactly going to plan out where everything is going to go today like the dining room, kitchen, all that blah 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 insert other room here but I'm at least going to get a feel of the layout of the boat here. So now that we get this railing on here let's just drop that on here. We're actually going to need another block to connect it up to and put that right there. I've never been great with the rotations in this game. You'd think after a little while I'd get the hang of it, but no, apparently I just forget it every other day. Anyway, let's put this on here and grab the other corner there. And that's a pretty simple railing around there. Nothing too special, but we won't have any lawsuits about falling down the stairs now. So let's actually, I'm going to clean up this railing here real quick, make it look a little bit more sleek with a edge here, with the wedge actually, the edge wedge. And we'll just drop that in there like that. And we can actually do one step further and make it look a little better by running it down the edge like a little water fountain coming across here, like such, and then bring this up through there and putting that corner on there. I know that isn't connected to anything, but... Eh, I think it looks cooler with this edge on it instead of how it was previously. So this larger area is definitely going to be where bathrooms, bedrooms, and maybe some other sort of rooms are going to go. But I've been playing around with the idea of actually trying to use this space up here as a usable area for the boat. And now I'm putting blocks over blocks here, but... I think this is some area we can take advantage of creating this boat here. So if we just fill in that there, we can put a staircase down to this room here and actually have a little bit more area to play with. And maybe, just maybe, we might put the master bedroom up here, or maybe just another bedroom in general going up here would be a nice addition to the boat, because of course this area was just wasted basically on the previous version of this vessel. So let's drop a small staircase in here. We're actually going to have to drop it into the port and test if this staircase is actually going to work or not. And I'm probably going to put another wall in there to make sure we don't have any other problems with, I don't know, I guess we're just going to be separating out that room. And yeah, it looks like we're going to have to move this back a couple blocks, probably taking a little bit more room from storage and whatnot there. But that's not a horrible problem. It just yet because I mean storage is just random storage I mean it doesn't really have a use just like the bathrooms and whatnot there's not much of a use for a bathroom in Stormworks because we don't actually have any of those let's just leave it at functions to use for our characters here anyways we're gonna patch up all these blocks here for this staircase and then drop it in here with that last block going there we're gonna need that topper and bring this in here so we can actually cut it back by one giving us a little bit more room i mean a little bit more room to nothing basically down here so that doesn't look too bad what i was talking about earlier dropping this wall in here all i meant is basically just putting a wall in here that's all i meant by it really 
And we're gonna have to clean up a little bit more. We still have a, a bit of the standing structure, I guess the walls that used to be here from the previous version that we're gonna have to clean up a bit because we don't want all of that here anymore. Another interesting thing I found about the design here, I actually added in a lot more blocks than I needed to for this front end here. So we're actually regaining a little bit more, I guess, usable space right here to maybe put beds or something. I don't know if I want to do bunk beds in the front, especially if it's going to turn into like a master bedroom type of deal up here. I don't think you would actually want bunk beds for your children in the master bedroom. But another thing we can actually do here is sneak in a couple windows in here because of course letting in natural light is another cool thing to do for these builds and of course once stormworks gets ray tracing that'll be even better um i don't know if stormworks would actually i don't know stormworks isn't as big of a game to get something like one of those crazy features that the new technology has on it I mean, it would look cool nonetheless. I don't know if you guys have actually seen the Minecraft version that has ray tracing in it, but I mean, it looks pretty darn cool. So, <laughs> if only Stormworks. That'd be Stormworks' a major hitter against other creative games. Yes, we now have ray tracing in Stormworks. <laughs> That'd be a big day. It'd be crazy. Anyway, enough of me ranting about silly things being added in Stormworks. I think I like the singular window there now that I've placed two there because the second one looks like we're just trying to put way too much in that little area there. Maybe we'll add something crazy in the future like an angled window or actually I mean I'm here I'm working on it why not try to build in like an angled window or something crazy here. Because that would actually be a really cool feature. I mean maybe privacy will be let down a little bit by a large angled window but I mean, you can always buy curtains, right? I mean, if you can afford the yacht itself, I think curtains, like 20 bucks from Walmart or whatever, wouldn't be that bad to add in a little bit more privacy. And maybe just one window there, not two of them. Because two is going to make it way too tall in here, I think. I, I swear that wasn't a pun, way too tall. Now, now that I said it, it makes it sound like I was actually trying to make it sound like a pun. Anyway, puns aside... I think that looks pretty good. Let me make sure it actually floats still, but I mean that's another cool little feature that uh, you didn't really think we would be adding in. Yeah, and I actually kind of want to see what it looks like right now because I'm thinking more and more I want to make that the master bedroom with all the cool little different added in things that we put in here like that window. I mean I could probably add in a couple more like two slits here. And what, I'm, what I mean by the slit is these angled windows. And I always get these two messed up, so I drop both of them to my inventory and figure out which one I actually want while I'm working with them. So if we just drop those blocks there and then move that in there. This is actually the window I wanted. Well, I guess I got it first try this time. But as you can see, that's what I meant by the slit windows here. That actually looks pretty good, I think. I mean, the jury's still out on that. I mean, I haven't paid the jury in a little while. Anyways, a note to self, hire jury and then pay them apparently. But yeah, I'm still finding more and more of this weird area to where I added in more blocks than I needed to. And I'm remembering more and more, or at least trying to remember that Especially in Stormworks earlier days, there was the occasional problem to where if you put a wedge or something, it wouldn't actually hold the air in for an area, so it would actually have water, I guess, leak through there. It wouldn't be an actual air pocket. So, yeah, we basically, what I did to solve that problem was just put more and more blocks over those areas, and as you can see, I'm paying for that now with a lot of, uh, wasted time fixing all those problems but I'm coming up with a new problem I'm not exactly sure how I want to put a door on this room it's gonna waste a lot more I guess room than I actually want it to putting a door on here but I mean it's something that's got to be done basically so dropping a door on here maybe we can add something funky or something with this little hallway here I mean, we always need more storage on boats. Have you ever seen a real-life boat? You know how many, like, nooks and crannies they add in for actual storage in there? It's, it's crazy, actually. I was surprised to see how much on a boat. But we can add in, like, a weird little shelf. And I'm gonna... 
Uh, hopefully I'll remember to come back and clean this stuff up because it looks pretty... It, it's not looking too hot right now. Let's just not dwell on the fact that that looks like a three-year-old has made it with blocks. But anyways, so we've got at least one room done in the front here. And this, I don't know, no man's land down here is something that is, I guess is just going to stay there. And now that I'm thinking about it, one of the other things that I did with this vessel here was double up each edge here because those sides were not holding water with those angles on them. So to reduce a lot of the weight here, actually, I think we're going to lose like a couple tons probably taking off those blocks here. So let me just remove those. And I may have made a mistake putting on the mirrored mode. Yeah, because now I have taken off a few more blocks than I wanted to, and we have to fix that, because we're, we're apparently the cleanup crew here as well. I mean, I'm just cleaning up my previous mistakes with this thing. Well, I mean, it was a good boat back when I first created it, but I don't know, as time gone by, I mean, there's so many new things we can add on to this thing now, it's, it's crazy. I mean, we can do the Lua screen, the instrument panel, all those different types of things. I mean, I've learned so much more about the game as well. Even if we hadn't gotten anything new, I mean, I've learned so much about Stormworks in the probably year or more I've been playing it now that I've, I would have done so much more differently to this boat, especially to make it look better. And it looks a little bit weird there with that uh, door being cut off by that. Anyway, let's not dwell on that fact. Let's fix a little bit more of the problems that I've created for myself here by putting in blocks for those steps there. Yep, that looks pretty good. And let's save her up again. Last thing I want to do today for this boat here before I call it a day is actually fixing this little thing that bugs me. I don't know if it bugs you guys as much as it did to me, but this little edge, I never knew what I really wanted to do with it until I realized why not just bring it down to the hull, because it kind of looks like this thing was floating previously, and now that we bring that all the way down to the bottom there, I think it looks a little bit better. I mean, I don't know what you guys think. I've always up two suggestions for the boat here. And of course, if you guys do have any other ideas for the boat, I am up to them as well. So leave them in those comments down below. But I mean, I think that looks a lot better than what it was previously. I mean, it does block a little bit of those windows there. But I mean, honestly, eh, I don't think it's that bad taking all that space away. Another thing I actually do want to do to this boat as well before we call it a day, I just remembered this, and I don't want to forget it, is actually adding in some sort of, I guess, exit to the front of this, because um, previously the only way I got to the front of this boat is by kind of type walk, walking up this side here, jumping over the roof, over the control spot, and jumping to the front of the boat. So I'd like a more... I guess practical way of getting there. I'm not exactly sure how I want to do that because especially if we just drop in a, I guess, a stairs steps here. Why couldn't I say a staircase? Anyway, adding in some stairs here, we're kind of leaving it vulnerable if there's some high wind, high waves type of, um, I guess, whatever going on, then this could easily, I guess, just get washed over type of deal like we could lose the front end of it type of thing. And I don't want to take anything away from here adding in a door and then steps up so I don't know maybe I'll leave it there because I don't want to forget to put this in here so maybe I'll just add in the stairs right now so I don't forget to do it but there's just not gonna be an actual way to get out right now I'm just gonna leave it like this so I know in the future to add this in but right now it just isn't functional um, yeah it just doesn't work right now but I've forgotten I needed to also put a button on this so let me do that real quick with this fancy little you know, block there to cover that up as well and that should be about it for this episode so of course if you do have any suggestions for I guess stuff for this boat you can leave them down in those comments down below but yeah, I'm liking where this thing is going so far. It looks pretty good. 
um, throwing some crazy new ideas into it. I mean, there's so much more I can do with the size of this vessel now because I've definitely created, I might not have published them, but I've created some smaller boats that have taken advantage of so much less space and especially cars, RVs as well that take advantage of so much less space. So, I mean, there's so much free, free real estate here that, um, I could do a lot more with. So of course if you guys did like this, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to stay up with Stormworks and more of my content. But I've never been great goodbyes, my people need me, and I need to go.